finally getting you know your pads on and you know playing after sitting out last year Definitely. what's it like uh you know I, I know it was hard sitting out watching you know playing after transferring but what's it like now that you're finally in uniform getting out there hitting people oh man it feels good it feels, it feels good to wake up and you know, be able to play the game um you know just the same same football i've been playing for the past couple years but i just feel like it's just a different uh, mentality different atmosphere you know being able to really uh, be a part of something different. Um, so, you know, every day I'm just trying to embrace, you know, embrace the highs, embrace the lows, and uh, kind of just get better each and every day. What have you seen with this linebacker core that you guys have? I mean, uh, you and, you know, uh, Wally Batiku and those guys, just, uh, you know, De De Delay Harding and those guys. Just talk a little bit about those guys uh, for a minute. Well, yeah, Wale I've known actually since high school um, with, the, with the recruiting process and being out on the West Coast. Uh, so, you know, having him just, you know, he's, you see him just he's a freak athlete, uh, fast off the edge, you know, very strong at the point of attack. And we got a veteran like Daley Harding who knows the defense inside and out. And, you know, we got Jake Hansen and Delano Ware uh, and myself. So, you know, I feel like we could, we could really be something special, especially with this D-line and having everybody healthy, you know, just having to make sure everybody's ready to go uh, week one for Akron. What was that reunion like with you and Wally? I mean, you know, I mean, knowing each other since high school and everything, just now you're on the same team playing It's funny because um, so spring break, I went to go see him, and he was he was told me, he was like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about leaving SC. I was like, come to Illinois. Like, no no question, no for me. Like, it was just, it was, that was in the back of my mind. Like, I wouldn't want him to go anywhere else because, you know, I want him just to be here. And especially with his, his, his coaching staff, and um, especially you know uh, with, with the ability he, uh, with the abilities he have. But Wale is a great character. You know, he always has a smile on his face. You know, always uh, cracking jokes. And he's, he's a guy you want to have in the locker room. I know sitting out last year, you watched this defense. You know, uh, self-destruct on several occasions. What do you want to What do you want to accomplish? You know, as a as a unit this year, you know, yourself personally, to make this defense better than it was last year? Um, just, you know, to be sound all around, not just not just up front, not just with the linebackers, but, you know, with our, with our, with our secondary, when it comes to uh, getting getting off the field on third downs, when it comes to stopping the run, um, you know, any, any um, come, come week in and out, we just want to make sure that You know, we attack what, what emphasis we need. You know, if it's a high power run team, we need to stop the run immediately off the bat, not not wait until the third quarter when they're up, you know, 17, 20 points. And we saw that last year, so that was a big, big emphasis this year. Just, you know, cover everything and uh, just make sure we're good. I know with Coach Levy, you know, calling the defensive plays now and um, his son Miles with the linebackers, what's that been like so far? It's been great, you know, having him in the meeting room. Phenomenal coach like uh, Coach Smith, you know he he uh, he offers a lot of experience and he's obviously coached a bunch of talented linebackers. So his knowledge to the game um, only helps improve us.